For every bucket Isaiah Thomas scores, his height's going to go up by one inch. I put his peak start age at 33, his current age, and his peak end age at 41. And I've given him just two minutes per game in the Celtics rotation to increase his height. By the All-Star break, he had already scored 16 baskets, which means his height will go up by 16 inches, making him 7 foot 1. You might think this is going to be really easy, because just by putting him at small forward, he's already a 77. But how is this overall going to get higher? Well... What we're going to do is for every conference finals appearance IT makes, he is going to get plus five overall as well. Because just by the end of the season, he was already seven foot seven. Jumping into the first round, we had the Pistons. It was a six game series win. Isaiah put up mid numbers on horrible efficiency. But hopefully he can pick it up in round two. We've got the Chicago Bulls and we've got a game seven. But luckily we were able to win by 17 points in this final game where Isaiah Thomas dropped 11 points. We also somehow got John Collins. This team was making crazy additions in this video. We'll get into that more later. In the conference finals, we had the 76ers. We ended up losing to them in just five games and IT dropped one point on 0 for 5 shooting. He needs some improvements, but we made the conference finals, so he's going to be going up five overalls, making him still not a great player on a team filled with talent, but he's still going to be the seventh man. By the end of the season, we had somehow added DeMar DeRozan, and Isaiah Thomas had a much better year, averaging over 12 points per game. Isaiah still needed to work on the efficiency, but we can work on that in the playoffs. In round one, we had the Bucks. It was a four-game sweep where we absolutely dominated, and IT had 20 in the closeout game. In round two, we once again got a sweep, sweeping the Atlanta Hawks this time, and Isaiah Thomas once again had 20 in the closeout game. We were then able to beat the Pacers in six to advance to the NBA Finals. And with that, I'm going to give IT his upgrade in the middle of the playoffs, making him an 88 overall for this NBA Finals series, which the Oklahoma City Thunder were unaffected by. They were able to sweep us in just four games, and Isaiah Thomas struggled for most of this series. But going into free agency in the offseason, we look even better. This team is so ridiculous. Still no sightings of IT on the All-Star team, though. He made a huge improvement to over 18 points per game, and by the All-Star break, we had somehow added Damian Lillard. I also adjusted IT's position to make him a power forward so that Tatum could play small forward, and yeah, we have Dame on this team as well. This team is so ridiculous. We traded Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier to add him. I think it was a solid trade. We were still at 500 at the trade deadline, but we were able to get into the playoffs as a four seed. We beat the Miami Heat in just five games, and IT was upping his play for the NBA playoffs. In round two, we were able to beat the Cavs in six, and we were once again in the conference finals as IT dropped 17 in game six. In the conference finals, we've got the Pistons, and they're beating us 3-1, so I decided let's give IT his upgrade right now. We're here in the conference finals. We need him to be better. His higher overall helped us some because we forced Game 7, but we ended up getting blown out in Game 7 and we couldn't advance to the Finals. IT had his best playoff run yet, but we're going to need some more. He's up to a 97 overall going into this upcoming season, but we lost Jason Tatum. He made his first All-Star team, so he was doing a good job of leading this roster, putting up big numbers. But Jason Tatum's absence was definitely felt as we were barely over 500. IT was an all NBA second team alongside JT, but we were really mid 41 and 41, and we were in the play in. In the play in tournament, we lost to the Charlotte Hornets. An absolutely terrible season compared to what we've been doing in the past, but luckily IT was a free agent. He decided to take his talents to South Beach like LeBron, and he's joining Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero. Jimmy and Tyler both get worse, so it isn't a good sign, but hey, IT's still putting up his numbers, he's still an all-star starter, but unfortunately we suck. And he decides to retire after the season, but I'm not going to allow that, we're running it back, he's a 99 overall, and now we've got Trey Young. 
but we still suck so it's time for me to take matters in my own hands we're getting it out of here and we're going back to boston they're the number one seed in the east this is kind of a bandwagon move but i don't really care he's back in boston let's get this ring look at this roster man absolutely ridiculous in round one we've got it's former team that's an easy six game series win i guess that's not really that easy but you know what i'm making the video don't question it anyway round two we've got the celtics we beat them in six games and then in game Game six, five. This is the conference final. I don't even know, man. We win in the conference finals. That's my point. We advanced to the NBA finals, led by Anthony Black. Isaiah drops 20 and 11 in the final game, and Keegan Murray drops 32. This Boston Celtics team was putting on a masterclass. They signed Keegan to a minimum contract. The way this team was moving as a CPU was crazy. We've got the Minnesota Timberwolves in the NBA Finals, and we're up 3-1 to one in the series. And in Game 5, we're finally able to win. Check out this bucket from IT. Boom, yeah, and one. And they don't even make you shoot the free throws. They did a rule change, so you automatically get the three points. But Isaiah Thomas is winning a ring here. Absolutely crazy to see. Hey, man, Chris Paul could never. Isaiah Thomas at 7'7 seven seven gets a championship. He almost puts up a triple-double. And you would think this was the end of his career, but guess what? He decided, I'm not going to retire. And even crazier, he decided to leave Boston to join the Brooklyn Nets. We're playing alongside old man Kyrie and also Scoot Henderson. Isaiah's all-NBA third team, and we're in the play-in tournament, but we win that, and now we've got the Wizards in round one. Somehow, we pull off a miracle, and in game seven, we end up winning. I don't know how as the eighth seed we win, but you know what? We're advancing. I won't question it. Let's get on to this series against the Bucks. You would think after beating the first seed, we'd have some momentum, but I guess it was all gone. We lost, and in his final game, IT dropped 14 and 10. He's deciding to call it quits at seven foot seven after 18 years pro. He added some accolades to his resume, and overall, I'd say this video was a success. He got a ring. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe.